The children in these karate clubs are from neighboring villages. One Arab, one Jewish, in northern Israel. It takes less than 10 minutes to walk from one village to the other, but the two wouldn't usually have any contact. It's their shared love of martial arts that brings them together. Through Budo for Peace. The goal of Budo for Peace is to bring children who are in conflict areas uh, to understand about respect, tolerance, non-violence, and break down the barriers of ignorance and fear. Hakim understands the paradox of fighting for peace. But as a sixth degree black belt and twice karate world championship silver medalist, he says the martial arts are ideally suited to promoting coexistence. The important thing to understand about traditional martial arts, it's, it's not just a sport. There's discipline involved. There's a deep philosophy about respect when you walk into the club, the dojo, okay, you have to bow. You discuss about the importance of giving respect to other people, an integral part of traditional martial arts. You're trying to create harmony within yourself. This concept of having harmony within yourself first and then being able to have harmony with other people, this is what we are trying to do. Bringing different sectors together is a challenge. Ali Khalil is a Muslim karate instructor. He comes to neighboring Mitzpe Netufa three times a week to teach. In fact, thanks to Budo for Peace, interaction between the villages is growing. I didn't expect that we were going to become such good friends with the teacher, Ali, that we were going to sit in his living room, that he and his family were going to sit in our sukkah, um, that I was going to end up teaching kids in his village. And that just happened very naturally, and it was no difficulty at all. And so now when I'm here, you know, we're friendly, we're joking, we're checking up on each other's kids. It's very natural, it's very normal, we're neighbors. Budo for Peace runs 20 clubs in Israel, with hundreds of Arab and Jewish children participating, and interest is on the rise. Clubs that have been existing for years want to join us, but now we have interest in other countries. Last year, Ali introduced me to a joint Danian instructor with 400 students. He's willing to join Budo for Peace. It's also possible in Egypt uh, and in other countries. Hakim aims to develop Budo for Peace throughout the region and having seen how effectively it works in Israel, he's sure it can help promote harmony across borders as well. This is Marian Libor for Israel 21C. Find more interesting stories at israel21c.org.